All right, one more video today that I'm putting together in front of my beautiful Christmas tree uh, before I go hang out with the kids. So I was very inspired to throw this video together because one of my clients absolutely blew me away with her positive attitude. She's buying an awesome property that's going to increase her business model because it's on a lot of acres and it's all this stuff, right? But with the acreage and the area that it's in and the property type, etc., we've had to move pieces of the puzzle around a few times to have it spit out a plan that works. And by the way, I always tell my clients that it's like a sausage factory in the lending business where you don't want to know what went into it to make the hot dog come out. So gross, right? But it's such a good analogy because there's so much that goes into it behind the scenes. It would make pretty much any buyer have a daily panic attack with all the moving parts and scrambling that our industry as a whole has to do between compliance and making income and assets work and aligning it with the client's goals. It's just wild, but we love it. So anyways, tips on staying calm through the process are not jumping straight to the closing cost total on the loan estimate. You have to read line by line and digest where the total is coming from. It adds up your impounds, uh, your one year's homeowner's insurance, and all the things that aren't true hard closing costs. So breathe and start from the beginning of the loan estimate. Second one, uh, keep your eye on the prize. There won't be any more dirt made on this earth, so you better buy some now because supply and demand globally is only going up. You're going through this process and providing pages and pages of bank statements, bugging your employer for verification of employment in some cases, and all this stuff because you're gonna have a tax write-off or like my client, all this acreage to grow the business and future appreciation, meaning gaining equity on the home. Every month you pay your mortgage and you pay down the principal balance, unlike rent where you pay your landlord's mortgage and principal balance down. So this is short-lived, uh, somewhat painful process if you're not the type that loves digging up paperwork. But again, just breathe through it and keep that end goal in mind like my client uh, earlier uh, did. So the third is recognize if you have a money block. We've all been raised with different opinions about money. If you have a scarcity or lack of energy around money, then write, you know, writing that down payment check and seeing that money leave your bank account can drum up feelings that maybe you don't even realize how deep they go. So taking a moment when you feel stressed during the process surrounding money and jotting down what emotions are coming up can be really crucial uh, getting you through the process. Last tip, and there's many more, but I like to keep it uh, short and sweet. So is trust the professional that you're working with. If you can't find your professional loan officer online with good reviews, um, you shouldn't take them on or you're gonna be stressed during the process. If you did the research and they came highly recommended from a realtor or a friend, then trust that they're not only gonna get you uh, your end goal, but they're gonna be properly advising on when to log. They're doing their absolute best to minimize a paperwork request. For myself, as a loan officer, I do everything humanly possible to help my client and minimize stress, but sometimes it's unavoidable and we have to have the tough conversations and get through it together and not be on opposite sides or else it's not gonna work. So the underwriter's not here to make our life a living hell and trust me, the mortgage company is in the business to close mortgage loans. So if there's a roadblock, taking a moment and stepping back and taking the emotion out of it and leaning into your loan officer to trust that they have the right advice and solutions is so key to keeping you calm. So just to bring it back to my very uh, inspiring client, I'm so grateful for people like her because it makes brilliant ideas and magic that happens behind the scenes on both sides uh, ending to be positive and not being something painful and de detrimental to the house buying process uh, and real estate wealth is when you have that positive attitude. So as usual, I hope it helps. Please subscribe. If you like videos like this, you can get more of them. Have a good night.